Alrighty guys, time for an updated wash day routine. Today I'm gonna to be doing Moose Gel Mousse, which was created by Coffee Curly Girl on Instagram, so go check her out. But we're doing a full wash day routine today, so I'm gonna be starting with Bounce Curl Clarifying Shampoo. Just gonna get this all over my scalp. I also love their moisturizing shampoo. And I'm gonna take my scalp brush, which is gonna help cleanse my scalp and make sure that I don't have any buildup. And as a reminder, you can find the links to all the products I used today in the description below. Next, I'm gonna go in with Bounce Curl Conditioner. I use a lot of this, and I'm just gonna finger detangle that and then leave it in for five minutes. Rinse that out, and then I'm gonna flip over so I could start styling, and we're gonna start with Innersense Sweet Spirit Leave-In, about four spritzes, and I'm just gonna rake that through. Note that I'm giving special attention to the back of my head. This typically gets stuck and you'll see that throughout the routine. So next we're gonna go in with Pantene Curls Mousse, about a softball size amount. And once again, gonna rake that in. Gonna pay special attention to the back again and I'm actually gonna rake in a bit more while flipping side to side, just so I can make sure that the back doesn't get stuck to my head. Next up, I'm gonna take my wet brush to create clumps. And I find that this creates really even, uniform curls. Moving on to the Anasi Custard. So it's hard to see how much I take, but it's like one small scoop. And I'm gonna emulsify this in my hands and then just use praying hands to glaze it over my hair. We are not raking at any point this time forward because we don't wanna break up the clumps that we just created with the brush. So then I'm just gonna do some scrunching. And next up, we're gonna just spray a little bit of water just so that our hair is hydrated and prepped for the next step. Taking another small softball size amount of Pantene Curls Mousse, same thing, gonna just use praying hands. We are not breaking up these clumps. So next we're gonna do some more scrunching and you should be hearing a squishing noise with water coming out. And I'm gonna take my handy dandy shower cap. So this allows me to keep my hair wet while I take my time getting ready. So I'm gonna rinse my face off, get dressed, and my hair is gonna stay soaking wet until I wanna dry it. So about 10 minutes later, I put my plop on. So this is when I start the drying process. I have a whole video on this if you're interested or need help. About 10 minutes later, I take that off and I ever so carefully flip upright so that I don't disturb my curls. Next up, we're gonna take some clips to give myself some volume in the front. And I pretty much just place three right in the front and then a fourth to tame a wild baby hair on the other side. I'm gonna take my Extava diffuser, and for some reason I struggled putting this on. And what I'm going to do is called pixie diffusing. So I'm only going to keep the diffuser on while it's next to my head, and when I wanna move it, I turn it off, and then turn it back on again. So I'm gonna do this all around my head, and then once I'm finished going around, I'm going to flip over and do the same thing upside down. So I pretty much do this going back and forth between upright and upside down for as long as I have patience for. I prefer to air dry most of the way, but if you're someone who likes to blow dry, by all means, blow dry to 100%. As my hair dries, I just readjust my clips just to make sure I have volume. So since I air dry about four hours later, I'm going to be 100% dry. So I'm just gonna take my clips out and fluff. And I had a pretty hard cast here, so I decided to use some of my favorite Puridor Argan Oil to help me break the cast. And once I have my hair all fluffed, I'm going to separate some of these curl clumps just to give me a little extra body and volume. And here's the final result. This is seriously one of my go-to combos lately, and I always get a long-lasting wash out of it. Hope you guys like this video, and if you try this, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. You can hit me up at BritCurls or use the hashtag BritCurlsMyHair. See you guys next time.